Hello, everybody, and welcome back to DreamHack 2015. I'm your host, Nimsh, and we had some uh, weird technical troubles, but we're good now. We're good, we're back, and I'm here with Tice and Green Sheep. So, hello, guys. Welcome to the desk. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Started the day really rough with uh, already a uh, loss, and I end up end this day with 2 1. So, I'm still in a tournament, can still happen, so we'll see how it goes tomorrow. All right, and Green Sheep? Feeling a bit worse. Mm -hmm. I went 0 2, so I'm out of the tournament, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But my teammates, Kranich and Chucky, are still in, and Chucky's playing this game. Oh, yeah, actually, we are going to see Chucky versus Robin Who? Robin Who? Mm -hmm. Robin Who? Robin oh, who. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and who is he? Uh, well, I know him a bit. Like he's from Germany, and he plays for uh, a an, an German team, like a, like a full German team. And uh, he's actually he actually pretty practiced pretty hard for the tournament, and uh, it's pretty cool to see him here now. He was all he's a, he's a player that plays in a lot of open qualifiers, open tournaments. So I'm really I really want to know how what he's gonna bring here now. Is he doing good in those tournaments? I remember Robin Hu in uh, Europe versus China. Um, a some time ago he played it and he did pretty well. I think he qualified for the top 16 if I remember correctly. Uh, but other than that, like mm -hmm. we've seen him around. Like if you play all those tournaments, mm -hmm. you know who Robin Hu is. If you are in yeah. the scene, you know who he is. If you are not in the scene, he's probably a bit unknown. So this is his big moment because here at DreamHack, he is 2-0 and mm -hmm. Chucky is 2-0 as well. If he wins versus Chucky, mm -hmm. he will be the undefeated player mm -hmm. um, and uh, he will have a pretty good score to enter next day, day two. With, real, uh, with perfect score. Yeah, I think it makes a lot of difference if you go 3-0 or 2-1 uh, like, uh, after the first day. Like 3-0, you are in a really good spot. With 2-1, it's going to be really hard to win four games in a row. Mm. So I think they both really want this win now. Yeah, definitely. Because like, if you go into net tomorrow, you know you can lose 3-0. You know you can lose at least one more game. But if you go in 2-1, then you know you have to win four in a row. All right, guys, uh, we talked about Robin Hu, uh, so now we know who he is. But then there is Chucky from your team, uh, Green Sheep. So what can you tell us about Chucky? Who is he? How good is he at the game? Well, Chucky, um, many of you might remember from Fight Night. Um, he was pr pr he's a really good player, of course. Well, I have to say that because he's on my team. But I actually think he's a really great player. Some people like say he's an aggro player, but actually he doesn't play that much aggro. He actually he can play lots of decks. Uh, he plays Handlock a lot, and then he plays Grim Patient Warrior a lot. And uh, we've been seeing a lot of Chucky, like he was in the WCA tournament, America. And um, he's been in like a lot of more tournaments, like the Kingwin tournament. He's also a great caster, actually. We could see him casting Legendary mm. Series. All right, guys, game number one is ready. Same lineup, Hunter, Warlock, Warrior from both players. And we can already see something like that looks like Maligus Warlock? I think, I think if you play with a Soul Fire, it shall be the Maligus Warlock. And mm. the Brawl shall probably with a Shield Slam. I guess it's like a Control Warrior and not like the Game Pets from Warrior. So it's going to be a really control heavy game just uh, around board control. Yeah, I think the Maligus Warlock will probably be similar to uh, Zixo's Maligus Warlock because we know we, we practice together with Zixo. So it might be similar to that. And what does it mean, similar? This means that double BGH possibly? Yeah, probably double BGH to beat the Handlock and uh, of course the, the Dragons like Blackwing Corruptors, the Azur Drakes and the Malagos of course. And what do you think is like the strongest part of the deck? Because it doesn't really, if you look at the deck list, it looks like, yeah, is it good against aggro? Is it good against control? Like what do you think is the strong part of the deck in general? I think uh, it's built all around to like be good against everything because there's like early game stuff like Imp Gang Boss then you have like late game Emperor Forest Zone, which on a Maligos, which brings down the spells, and then you can like Soul Fire, Soul Fire for like 19 damage or like Dark Bomb. It just does a lot of burst damage that you might not expect. Oh, yeah. our revenge, I love it. Yeah. It's like also a really good tech against Game Pets from Warrior because it's like a really good board gear if you can get it off. What is the chance that Robin Hood is actually playing some dragons like Nefarian? Maybe Corruptors? Like, because I've seen revenge for the first time in the Dragon Warrior that Tides of Time was playing. And then somehow people adopted it. They play it. Why is it that good, though, Thais? Or is it good at all? Um, it's like it, when the like when Game Petra was really popular. I actually played it too on ladder just to to have like one thing to really remove it. Like for the other things, it's just a bad wow. And it's like only the, the one because the only thing that is different is it deals the three damage if you are below 12 HP. So I can only see it as a good AOE clear against like the aggro decks where you. Where you are thinking you're getting low on lives, like if you against this matchup, I don't think it matters that much because I don't think you're gonna be 
lower than 12 lives. That oh, oh man, that oh, has wow. to hurt. Shocky. That is not an esports moment. That's two cards out of this Acolyte. But uh, I think that was the move, though. Like, just trying to get yeah. a three or four. And he had no other, like, turn mm. four play, so. It gave two draws Harrison. to the Warrior. Uh, mm. This deck is so made against Contro uh, Petron Warrior. Like, his lineup can actually be, like, Pretty anti pattern warrior with if it isn't hand lock like hand lock control warrior maybe he checked his hunter also to beat the beat the game pattern warriors. Mm -hmm. I would be really interested to see that hunter, but for now, let's focus on the on the control warrior. What's the what's the matchup overall? Who do you think has an advantage, guys? Green sheep. Well, I haven't played most uh, much of Mali lock, but I'm guessing probably the warrior has the advantage because Mali lock uh, is like. I guess it's similar to Freeze Mage in a way because like you rely on the burst, but it's got a bit a few more minions. But uh, Warrior is really good at clearing minions, and it's also good at gaining armor. So you're not likely to be like in range of the Malagos Warlock's burst. Ties, do you agree? Yeah, I, I have to, I have to say I don't have that, that much experience too. I still think that Handlock is a better kind of Warlock uh, version. So, or I'm just a big Handlock fan, but and I I can really agree with that. Yeah. I think like from the Maligos perspective, it feels like the Handlock versus Warrior matchup. You basically want to get those minions that Warrior can't deal with, and uh, then you have the burst. Yeah, but I think it's a bit worse because Handlock has so many more threats. Like here you rely pretty big on a, a combo. Like we saw this matchup, I think, one or two times already earlier, and it was like twice where you really have to get like a good Maligos off or something like that. Yeah, I think the Emperor turn will be a pretty deciding moment in the game. Empress, like, yeah. But he hasn't even drawn it yet, so that's not even a possibility. No, but you, you really need it with Meligos mm. or with Soulfires. I guess he's drawn the Malagos, so if he draws the Emperor, then it's pretty good. There's going to be a set turn. Yeah, he has all the combo parts. We've like seen one, ma uh, one Emperor turn that hit eight cards, but didn't hit any combo pieces. Yeah. And in the end, Malagos yeah. got lost. It's the same with the Emperor sometimes if you play the game pattern. Like, it's insane if you hit the combo pieces, but like if you get Acolytes cheaper or weapons, it can, it can be good, but it's not like that's, that snowball. It's actually Emperor on Robin Hood's side, and he's probably deci he's decided to play it now, and it gets like one, two, three, is it seven? Seven cards reduced? Yeah. And the coin. And if, the if, coin, if, if the coin could reduce. <laughs> if, yeah. No, but if there will be a low tap, the coin, do you know that it costs like only four mana and not five? It costs wow. four? Yeah, oh, I, I, didn't, I did not know that. I had that on three ones, like I had that with an execute. That it costed like three mana because Emperor was twice on turn after a low tap. You learn something new every yeah. day. Yeah. Just some random hearthstone facts. Here you have to use your dark. Yeah, you have to bombs. kill the Emperor. Or it gets too much value. Yeah. You and know. You're going to lose the Corruptor to weapon. You're still fine with this. That's five points of damage. Mm. It's and really likely you lose an you lose an creature anyways to the weapon. So, oh man, those BGHs. Yeah. No BGH. <laughs> <laughs> so much hate, poor Doctor Boom. Yeah, I guess it's 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 just, it's still a do good Doctor Boom. Like even if the big game hunter comes out, mm. you can kill the big game hunter with your bomb. So I don't see many other plays. I guess uh. he could shield made an armor up, but it doesn't it have as so much impact as the Doctor Boom. Yeah, with, with double shield slam, it looks really good to just keep the shield made. Up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Boom looks good, good here. Mm. <laughs> if he wants to go lucky, he can play Boom. And then uh, <laughs> that's my face. face. <laughs> <laughs> just go for it. Yeah. That's, that's, that seems like my so kind of play. It's like, I don't want to take that five points of damage to my face. That, that's too much blowback. My statistic <laughs> will just go back. <laughs> All right, the boom is green. Yeah. Boom is green. Play it. It's still your best target to also get Big Game Hunter. Like, you don't mm. want to. If he plays with Rack, Alex, and the free and whatever, like, Big Game Hunters are the. Boom is still the best target for him also to get BGH. It locks the mana somehow. Like when the BGH is played, there can only be like a card for five played after that. And you have those bombs. Mm. And playing Azur Drake into those bombs yeah. would feel awkward. Yeah, I really like that he goes for the tap here and probably the implosion. Like it makes the bomb so much more awkward I by trading. Because you get more mid creatures if you want to trade with the board. I yeah. really like that play, mm -hmm. and the, the game will go really slow anyways. It's a really heavy control matchups where it goes until the end. 
Yeah. Mostly, well, most likely to see a fatigue game here. It's like so many removal cards in their hands. Oh, f four to face. Oh. It doesn't matter that much. I mean, it matters yeah. that it didn't hit the, the gang boss. It calls hit for four. Oh, is this hitting for four? Oh! oh, 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 oh. That's eight damage from two yeah. boom bots. Just Sick a bombs. This is standard Dr. Boom, right? Uh, standard. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty average. Yeah. So, what are you playing? You might play Harrison. It's a big 5-4. It's not like you're going to destroy anything. You, by this time, you know it's Malagos lock, so no Jaraxxus, yeah. no weapons. The only thing that's bad, like, Meligos has so many... Like, the strong thing of Meligos uh, lock is, like, all the removal is so good of the deck. Like, the Dark Bomb with, like, spell power, it just kills in Harrison. Yeah. It's so good. But just then again, the it's, what, what are you going to do? Like, you mm. can't play Sylvanas yet. No. No, it's, it's the play you, uh, I really like. You have to make it. You might think of a Hellfire, uh, but only because it's not like you are going to use it mm. in the future to clear the board. You might keep it because it's kind it's, it's burst, technically. Yeah, it does burst. I think like the Ezra Drake Dark Bomb is like too good to pass here. But then again, you want to keep mm. the Dark Bomb yeah. for the combo. Yeah. I think you want the yeah. You definitely want the Dark Bomb for the Emperor. So. Oh, he's, he's going for it yeah, there, I think. We got also two card draws. Oh, there's another so Hellfire. Okay, oh, yeah. he keeps the Dark Bomb. Really good. He's I think keeping all the damage. Yeah. yeah. And, like, it's kind of a miracle deck, actually. Like, how the Miracle Rogue and again Petron works. Like, you really, you really want oh. to get them off. Uh, oh, Robin, man. who was saying that he had yeah. Nefarian before this game? But I, well, I didn't believe him. But he actually does. <laughs> So this uh -huh. is a build I've seen a couple of times with Revenge and Nefarian. I, I like it. Nefarian is a great card. Sting abilities. Mm -hmm. We are not going to see the Sacrificial Pact on Jaraxxus. Yeah, well, unfortunately. I, uh, I lost today a game too because of Nefarian. I, I was I was Paladin and he gets a lay of hands. I was healing back after I I was like really close. <gasps> oh oh my pact. god, he had the pact. Oh wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Yeah, but we are, we are like, not going oh to see Jaraxxus. No, he can kill the Imp. You never know. Well, you can bane of. Oh no. Oh yeah, you can kill yeah. the imp now. Yeah. It's like heal four. That's actually like yeah. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, good. Zero, so zero good. mana heal four. Do you have better, five. Do you have better targets for it? I don't I think so. It's kind of deck. It's so funny to Ka see this combo Koi going off. Nefarian is such a cool and interesting card because there are so many situations what can happen out of it. It brings snipe if you play versus hunter uh, into competitive play. Uh, oh, Robin Hood's roping them. Well. What's he thinking of? Uh, he has to play fast. Yeah, heal yeah. it and trade. Yeah, that's pretty good. And he he has an eight eight, but the BGH, the second BGH, is so good. Oh, oh there's wow. the emperor. And he hits uh, wow. a couple combo pieces. So yeah, clearing the, the board and the dark bomb, the Meligos, like pretty important both. Like the heal bots are not important in this match, but the Meligos is really insane. Yeah, that's eight, eight point o points of damage. And uh, if Dorison survives, okay, but there's no way. Does Chuck even play it though? He might get greedy and wait for the soul fires. But I guess he just plays it. Like even the Hellfire is being hit. It's six yeah. points of damage that you can play earlier. Fortunately, so. you can't play Maligos and Hellfire though. Hellfire. Oh, double. Both people, uh, both players playing double BGAs. That's so. so much. Oh. So much hate to handlock. Pitlord. Pitlord. Oh, yeah. Pretty good one. One of the better. One of the better ones, yeah. yeah. Like, the, there is, like, not really an average uh, thing that can cut out of the Bane of Doom because it's normally, like, really bad or really insane. Yeah, so there's a jump, right? You can get a yeah, free, free yeah, Voiter yeah. or you can get the 5 6. Yeah, it's like. That's, like, really the big jump, yeah. That's why the card is actually pretty good. Bane of Doom. So there is... 8... 17? So... so yeah. Yeah, but I, he needs more to yeah. like really get a... Wait, if there is 17? Yeah, 17 from Dark Bomb and Soulfire with Malagos. Can he go with double, double Hellfire this turn? Uh, if that's he attacks base, enough. that's 8 damage. It makes sense oh. to do it, actually. Oh, yeah, it clears the board, actually, so it is good. And now with 17, he would be one off. Yeah, if this uh, survives and no armor. He can armor. get another soul fires in the next turn. Yeah, but he but can't play it all, yeah. yeah. If only soul fire was zero yeah. mana. Oh, wow. And you see, another dragon. No respect for the dark bomb soul fire. And, ooh. 
That one is never bad. Chucky is <laughs> like one is damage off lethal. Oh, yeah, wow. that's pretty sick. So much burst. Like, you d really don't expect that with five cards in hand that it is. Imagine if that Dark Bomb was actually another Soul Fire. That would be lethal if it didn't it discard the other one. Yeah, or like Ooh. if the Heal Bolt would be a Soul Fire as well. That's a pretty good pickup. <laughs> Into double BGH. Mm. Yo. Well, still the bombs. Like he oh, only, the he bombs only could go face. He only like needs like so. He only needs like one or two damage from the bombs. Well, doesn't it seem that Twilight Drake Hubot might be a better play here? Because no, you play yeah. you play around the BGH and you develop a bigger board. I think the bombs are so good in this. Like yeah. you're so close to lethal. It's a combo deck. You can and you've you seen he's used a load of armor up cards, and he might not be expecting yeah. like this burst. Yeah, but even after like BGH, there will be BGH and Sarah to block those bombs. Mm. And he will still be off. Yeah, there is the a Usara's Awakens in hand, yeah. so I wonder who might be tempted to play that, but that's actually killing himself. Yeah, and, and also, like, you don't know what card gets out of it, and with the Grom, it can be really painful. I like, I like this better. This is like a solid board that is hard to deal with. This might actually be a Usara's Awakens turn. Yeah, I'm thinking if the Spellbreaker will do something here, but... The you question is really, guys... You attack in and... Is Robin Hood dead? Awakens. Is he dead? Like, there's 17 points of damage coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If he, he doesn't armor up... Well, he has to armor up it and looks not like play. A, yeah. Oh, he doesn't need to armor up. Oh, he's like playing Ysara's Awakens. Wow. If he goes with Awakens, he's dead. Yeah, he is. He'll go to 13, and then he'll get two armor, so he'll be on 15. Wow. wow. This is oh. it! This is, such a risky <laughs> this is it! You're at 15. That, that was pretty risky play. Wow. Yeah, it's like you don't really see it you, coming. You don't with play around it because well, you, d you don't, you don't see it coming it. with four cards. But you know it's a Melagos. Yeah. Like you, everyone knows what the deck can do. And you everyone know he's he's already played the Emperor, so he he must have like got some yeah. reduction on the spells. Yeah. All right, so Melagos wow. turn around. He was just oh his look at his face. He's yeah, like, he's yeah. Like, oh, you had it. I wonder if he really like. It's really hard to see it mm. coming sometimes, but. Yeah, the Emperor did his work in the combo deck here. Definitely, mm. and you can't really play around it. Yeah, because like you might just lose the game even if there is no combo. Yeah, it's hard. Like maybe you shall try to play around it. I was, I'm not sure if there was a better play for Robin. Well, well, yeah, I it was a really clean it. clear, and it was really yeah, efficient. Yeah, the, the clear was clean, and I don't think there there were many good better or there were not yeah. really better options. He didn't have much armor to use his uh, you, shield you, slams. You kind of can mm. expect it too from like it's a combo deck. Like, you know, like the win condition from it's the Meligos, but so it, it's really hard. Many cards left in Chucky's deck mm. still. So. Oh, it's gonna be warrior against warrior, guys. Be ready. I think I'm pretty sure that Jackie was playing also control warrior. Hopefully they're both not control warrior. Well, this will go on forever. I think Jackie was too. I'm not sure, but uh, I think, I think Jackie's good. playing control warrior. But is Robin Hood? Oh Hoop? yeah, oh. they better get on says enough. Okay, it says this enough. Is, this it is our favorite matchup. Yes. By the end of the day, we get a control control warrior. Armor up, armor up, armor up, armor so up. So how do you win this matchup? You armor up. Lips. You armor <laughs> up. That's the. <laughs> Yeah, it's the most important thing. But I think that Robin Wo, uh, his deck is like he he was really greedy with Emperor uh, Ysera with the uh, Nefurion. Like it can be like really good in the mirror. Actually, yeah. I played this matchup against you at Deck Wars Finals, and I smoked you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's true. That's true. Like I it was like it's long ago, but like I can still imagine that. That's Sometimes you can do it, like <laughs> if you have like your early minions and no removal. And you use your weapons to do damage, yeah. <laughs> to get armor off. And at, at turn 8, you, yeah, you're, you're second death fight with the grommets. Can be enough, but I don't think that is like the way you play this matchup. Yeah, it's you, more you want to avoid it. So now the question is, what is Shaki playing? Because we see Robin who is, is running double BGH, which will be great versus Baron Gedon that we've seen. And um, if there is a Ragnaros, Double BGH might be useful. Yeah, I think Robin, though, I said it already earlier, but I think his deck is like really insane in this mirror. There's so many greedy cards, double big game hunter, like, it's like made actually for this ma matchup, I think. How important the Farion is? It's it mm. is pretty good, I think. It's better than Alex in the mirror, right? But Alex normally doesn't do much, or you don't burst each other down, anyways, and now you have the same cards, but just with two other cards, and yeah. I don't think there are many spells from a warrior that are really going to help him. Isera is definitely going to be amazing. Oh wow, Harrison Jones as well. Great card. Well, Chucky didn't choose to play the Acolyte that turn. 
Um, you hmm. generally don't play Acolyte on free because you don't want to Yeah, you don't want it to get War Axe. I think he wants to just, uh, despite the minion that comes out now, to get some card rather than turn off turn with Acolyte, but... So what can you do as Robin Hood? Is, uh, <laughs> I, think, I think Shield Block here. Yeah. Shield Block instead of just Armor Up? Yeah. You don't have anything to play on 5, so I guess you want to search for probably a Sludge Belcher. Okay, well, if you Armor Up here... You can shield block armor up on Ah, oh, you fire. get more armor. Oh, that's the way. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I, I just look at the hand and I think that I have the feeling you want to get some more options, maybe. But, like, mm. his deck is, like, so greedy that maybe This has just been... Like, look, look at the side. It's just been armor up, armor up, armor up, armor up, armor up. Yeah. Great matchup. <laughs> Come on, Jackie. Great game. <laughs> Jackie, don't go for the hero power, please. I, I think hero power uh, is totally valid here. Hey, we yeah. want some It looks action. like a really good play. It's green. Like, are there... Any other options? Like, seriously. Uh, screen like boom is green. Yeah, he well. wants to do it. Just pick it. Oh. Uh, uh, he was thinking of it. Oh, if, if he oh. plays where he works, he can shoot the armor up. Yes! Oh, um, yeah. But then he disrupted the armor ups on the left. Oh, he's actually it's, attacking as well. It looks like really the Hunter Mirror, where you both players like really play their hero power. Come on. They play the hero power a lot of times against each other. That's that's definitely true. Uh, so, Chucky attack probably to get the get rid of the armor to maybe protect his story on six. I'm not sure if you like really want to ha Harrison this at all. <laughs> Is Robin Hood going to attack with the War Axe as oh, well? Oh, and and the counter oh. War Axe with armor up. But does he attack? Yeah, I don't think he's going to. Well, um... The difference is that the Robin Hood doesn't have any more weapons. Chucky has yeah. the Death Spite, so yeah. attack... Chucky has a load of weapons, so yeah. Yeah, just use, use Fireworks as six de points of damage while you have those many weapons in your hand. It makes a lot of sense. Wow, he picks up a 5-drop. Are we going to see the first minion in this game? <laughs> oh, man. By the way, like, looking at this matchup and uh, looking at those different oh, cards... Emperor. There's Emperor. Yeah, that's, that's why... I really like this attack to play around with shields and slam. Yeah. Can he even deal with it now? Uh, is there a way? N not in hand, I don't see a way. Well, he has a cruel test versus the big game hunter, but it's not like... Yeah, that's the only... Re but maybe you have to do it. Yeah. Because, like, em Emperor's such a big threat. That's why I really so much. That's why I really like to just shield block a bit earlier, and that you have, like, one more card draw to draw maybe yeah. something that you can use at moments like this. It's pretty sad to use a big game hunter in like this if you know they are, like, way better targets. But like he had to do it. Yeah, I think it can't be that sad about killing Torisa. No, of course not. You also yeah. developed the board. Yeah. So. I think he would have been happier if he had like a shield slam, so it'd be a cleaner way to kill it. Okay, there's the Alex. Thought stealing, borrowing mines can actually damage you. Wow! By hysteria. That's a nice fact. Borrowing mines from the Juggernaut. There's the nice fight. Yeah, Robin Hall was waiting for that. Like, you saw him keeping the uh, Harrison against the uh, Warrex. Killing the Death is so much better. So, Tyson, what do you think about this matchup now in this current meta game? Like, before, we had it mapped out. Like, we knew exactly every card in mm -hmm. Warrior Control. But now with Nefarian with Revenge, it changed a bit. Yeah, it kind of changed a bit. And, like, there are so many... Like, normally it was, like, yeah, 28 cards. And, like, there are one or two cards maybe different. But now... Some people still play with like old versions, like with Baron Geta, and some people are really going with Nefrian, Yasera. You see Spellweeks, like there are a lot of different things. As this matchup, like I don't think there are many situations where you can go really aggressive for a Grom play. Also, the shield maiden makes it really slower. So it, it's yeah, uh, it's. I it got a bit more interesting. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> well, there is some action. Uh, we still see a couple of armor ups on the left, but overall there is. I just want to see Nefrian and hope that there will. What are the spells what that are you the can good get? Cards, yeah. yeah, can you even good get spells in a mirror? Like More shield sh box. Brawl? Doesn't yeah, matter? Not that much. And you have like shield slam execute, what but yeah. Like so many useless things like inner rage, the wow and the revenge, like not good in a mirror. Crush? Oh crush. That's a heroic cool one. strike? Heroic strike. The smork goes smork in the way them. of uh, there's also that other card, uh, if you're below 12 HP, it does like 6 damage, right? I can't remember oh the yeah, name. Oh yeah, Mortal Strike. Yeah, Mortal, Mortal Strike. strike. Man. I hope we see a Mortal Strike with Two a... Mortal Strikes. Yeah, or just a Mortal Whoa. Strike. Full damage. 12 points of damage, like Molly goes Mortal garbage. Strike with an Heroic Strike. Like, nobody sees like a 22 damage combo incoming when you have also the Grom or something in the end. 
There is a Torison pickup by Robin. So many, huh? Nefurian. Nefurian to get revenge. Emperor looks really good here, I don't though. think you really care that he's going to draft it. Like, he has already seven, so he's at least going to draft to nine. Oh, he actually Nefarians. That animation, was it, was by it, the way. It? And revenge! Ah. Ah. Well, he will be able but to deal with the board. In a like rage is good. But he can actually. maybe even overdraw, actually. Like, there are already eight cards in the hand, and the Eclites are going to draw two. So maybe there's options to overdraw next yeah. time. I've learned that drawing too much in this matchup actually loses either matchup because you end up fatiguing first and then you just take more damage as so time goes on. You can even burn the cards. It's this big game hunter here. Pretty really good. <laughs> how, how many cards is there? Seven. Yeah, seven. So, so you like well you can So you revenge and then you double shield some the acolytes? Well in a rage one and you and oh, it's okay, already okay. an overdraw, so he needed two in two revenge. That will be really good. Or just the whirlwinds, maybe. It's the power of Ragnaros coming. Well, there's 10 cards here, so Emperor gets a lot of value. You probably want to cast something else this turn. Is he going to get his own revenge? Is he thinking about, like, fatiguing Shaki? It is a r it's like a really good thing. If you can, like, discard something in the warrior mirror, it's it can be really big. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if you discard like Grom, you uh, discard yeah. Alex Straza. Well, that actually helps in two turns to let him overdraw. I really like going Despite here. Yeah, Despite like he has no way of killing off uh, his own acolytes, so you don't draw. Well, he yeah. You're not taking that much damage as well from those. No, minions. it's like six. not a scary board at all. It's just six damage. And now you can just overdraw him. Like, I really like this. Yeah, Robin Hood's definitely ahead here. So I wanted to ask you, Green Sheep, how much how much experience did Chucky get with this warrior? Uh, he's actually been playing Warrior a lot, but mostly he's been gr playing Grim Page and Warrior. But he kind of likes this Control Warrior because uh, some I think it has a good matchup against uh, Patron because you get to armor up, you can like deal with the Patrons easily if they get damaged, like execute Shield Slams, and um, in general, Warrior is quite a strong deck, like. Control decks are, are quite strong. Like um, normally, if you play control deck, you don't really lose to anything. Like even against aggro matchups, you can still win them if you draw like your like fiery war axes and your death spites. And you, there's just a lot of options uh, in control decks, and Chucky likes keeping options high. Yeah, and I think uh, what's also important in this tournament, like a lot of people are also focusing on game pattern. Like a lot of people agree that game pattern is like one of the best decks. But I was actually just scared of bringing it because I know some people like really hard, co hard counter the game better not actually at the moment with their lineup and even some people playing with Ooze as Harrison like in everywhere. Yeah. That's probably why a lot of people play Malikos yeah. Warlock. Because most of the population will br bring Handlock as the Green Patron counter. So you bring the Malikos deck which yeah. still counters Patron and counters the counter which is Handlock. And it's a really fun deck as well. Yeah, I love it. Wow, I, yeah, the revenge is coming out here. Like, it's an overdraw, right? I think even two, uh, four, six. Eight, oh, it's going to overdraw. Nine, two, right? Yeah. Two, four, six. Yeah, two there's cards overdraw. Nine in hand. Wow. That's really big, like two discards in a mirror match. Wow. I'm excited to see what is. I don't think you care about there. the armor. Like, he's going to win the long run now. Yeah. Especially after, like, the whole board two. and even wow. discard two cards and even play the Emperor, actually. And he has all the tools to counter whatever is being played by Chucky anyway. It's not like Chucky is so going to get more mana. That's going to be this. Ooh, ooh, that's a big minion. Yeah. All right, and so get him down. And what? one more. And it's uh, that's not <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's kind of sucky. That doesn't matter. There's 21 army. That's I don't like think actually you'll need a good more. card because you don't want to play it anymore, I think. <laughs> yeah. You want Chucky to draw that. But get him. It's like a big drop, so that's a good one. So yeah. Alex here. Shield Slam Alex. Looks pretty good. Yeah. So you've, seen he's already, you've seen he's already used one uh, big game hunter on the Emperor before. So. And 21 armor. That's a lot of armor. I don't think Chucky's... Chucky might be expecting the second BGH though. 
because a lot of people do play 2BGH now. Yeah, but also in Warrior, where you already have 4 removal, like you have 2 shield blocks to execute. Like, it's not a deck where I would think, oh, let's put 2 big and in this. No, he chooses to use an execute instead. And why is that? Do you guys know? Well, he's got two executes, so I guess he just wants to use one up. Yeah. And he can use Shield Slam on anything, like on Alexstrasza, on like Ysera. Yeah. Especially when he's got that much armor. Yeah. And you have to activate your executes, <laughs> and sometimes there's no good way of activating your executes. And with 22 armor, you can always Shield Slam. Alright. Yeah, I don't think that armor is going away anytime soon. Maybe he's thinking of keeping the big amount here. Uh, this that's well, there is yeah. a possible steal uh, if he shield stamps his own Savannahs after Shield Maiden, but it might be too cute. That's How many BGHs did he see? I actually kind of kind of like that play, maybe. Not sure. Huh? Is he gonna? Oh, he's gonna inner range it. He wants. To I keep thought he wanted. Yeah. Right? For what situation? Like you're not really gonna get bigger than eight eights. Mm. Did you really like like stealing Alexstrasza like, there? Or do you want to keep your Savannas for something else? Uh, I think you might want to keep your Savannas for like Ragnaros or something, because you haven't seen that card. Come on. Right. Yeah, or just playing against like playing it into a belt, you can also just already work because they can't play more. You know that like they're gonna lo lo just lose the turn sometimes. Hmm. Mm. Somehow Chaki's actually, I think, ha has the advantage right now because he's got yeah. a lot more cards, a few more big threats. Maybe we should look just ten, ten turns later and see how the game is going. Like they are probably just going like <laughs> yeah. just remove all their other minions and at the end they have only removal at the end or the combo pieces left. Chucky has six more cards left in his deck. Those acolytes actually drew Chucky a lot of cards. Yeah. And very useful ones. He only discarded a Barangeddon. So in hindsight, do you think it wasn't a good move to kill those acolytes? I think uh, I, I probably would have done it because yeah, I think it was good. It's not it like you had a choice actually. Like if you discard like a really important card like Gramash or like Alex Strauss, and then the game's pretty much over. Ooh, there is wow. a Sarah, and he can actually is Sarah and Shield Slam. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Pretty and, ki and kill one of the yeah, but. You expect still to execute, probably, but maybe it's still a play to go for. Like, what are you going to do otherwise? Um, big Game Hunter, but then it's like only Big Game Hunter with yeah. Sylvanas. There's big Game might die to the bombs as well. It's not good. That's a pretty good one here. You I might opt to keep Isera till the very end of the game. But then they will still have to execute. Most yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll like have even more chance of getting yeah. executes from draws. Unless you bait out the second execute with something else. Mm. But there, no matter, like, you expect the removal anyways, like a shield yeah. slam and execute or... This way he draws a card. Silence. And he's so got a laughing yeah. sister. Ah. At least it can't be targeted by spells. Better than Nightmare. It's it's a minion you can actually play. Mm -hmm. Nightmare would be terrible. And it doesn't get BGH'd. I have like no that like the Drake. Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. He steals it! There's, there's no answer. Oh, there's a, there's there's silence. a silence. Ah, but, but it's still a 412. It's still a 412, yeah. You can clean up like all the minions that Robin Hood Ooh, plays. That's he Drake. That's Drake. So Robin Hood really behind on health, on cards. It's a Ragnaros. Oh, wow, he plays Ragnaros and Nefarian. Like a lot of people actually cut Ragnaros for Nefarian. Yeah, yeah and he seems really greedy. He's got Ragnaros, Ysera and Nefarian. He might not be playing Alexstrasza then. No, oh, there's maybe no, no space for Alex. Yeah. And probably not like no 7 drop like Geddon or something. Yeah, definitely no. Alex wouldn't actually be that useful since Chucky is on 19 health, so I only do 4 damage. I guess it could heal you back up, but if you're healing back up, then you're in a losing position. So no re no re removal here for Robin Wall. So just he can silence it, but yeah, it's so... Just silence in the... Let and then mm. it dies to the Yusira. And you play Sylvanas. Because he wants to steal, steal it back, but there's no way he can. There's no point in playing Ragnar's here. Yeah. I think like Sylvanas silence armor up is probably yeah. the move. I hope he doesn't Ma have any yeah. way to deal Maybe with Sylvanas. Maybe he's not even going to silence it, but uh, yeah, he, yeah, he shot the silence now, I guess. Yeah. If you don't silence, you're aiming for the steal. So you probably then play Death Spite and... Maybe just play Death Spite, kill the bomb, and then play Sylvanas. Oh, oh wow! Chucky's own Yasara, oh my god. Double Sarah. Double Yasara. Double Sarah is pretty good in uh, Warrior Control Mirror. 
so yeah, Chucky's really got good. Owl. Oh. Hoot, hoot. Attack with bow. Yeah. Oh, wait, the 412 into the 5 5. Or attack the bomb oh, first. Like bomb it first. Hit four. If bomb. it hits 4. Yeah. Uh, Chucky's not really rolling with the <laughs> implosions and with the bombs. Yeah, it doesn't work, but still, he's playing great. That's why he's 1 0 and probably going to take this game as well. Can't kill both of the minions, though, I unless he sacrifices like an execute or something. I guess you don't need to deal with that. You're on, like, how much are you on? Like, 45 life? Yeah. Yeah, you don't care if they do 4 damage to you. Like, even more now. Oh, let's get, get more armor. That's a good turn. Ah, 7 more armor. Nice. It's really patient. Yeah, but you have to in this matchup. You just yeah. have to. Execute and kill off the 4-7, but not very great target to execute. Yeah. Uh, well, you still have the big game hunter, you, you, so you still have big up, uh, some backup for creatures, but... Well, this is another way, like, you can go for the death pipe, but you go pretty low. Can you go for Ragnaros here? Mm. Like, kill the owl, or Ragnaros, and... Kill the owl, Ragnaros. And also yeah. the Two in three, it hits a good target. You might even execute Sisera. Mm. Okay, keep Now, then it's a 50-50 if you hit a good target. Increasing the odds. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. the he worst misses. target. To yeah. the face. Robin Hu, definitely disappointed yeah. by the hits. You see by his facial expressions. And wait, wait that's, that's nine? Well, no, uh, that's not enough. That's 21. That was yeah. like one damage off. Yeah, that's one damage off. Haki's still in a commanding lead here. Yeah, and I like just not playing more. Like, the only thing what will happen is overextending into a brawl. Dr. Boom. It's a big minion. But. Can He's he probably dead. survive? Wow. Yeah, there's nine uh, damage coming with the Grom. That's 21. He can execute the Ysera. He and can kill off a minion, but that still does damage that's to it. yourself. Yeah, yeah that's it. All right, let's go. Doctor Boom. Now you can kill your own bots. 21 damage incoming. Uh, yeah, yeah so much. and it's he's so on 19. Wow. Yeah, this is normally not how to match. Like, it's it normally it fatigues, uh, but with these changes in the deck, it's rushing down. You yeah. see, a pretty a big swing also. I think those Acolytes, even though he burned Gadon, they yeah. gave him so many cards. Yeah, that yeah. he had so many more options than Robin Who had. Quality turns. All the removal he wanted. Yeah, Roman Who is trying desperately to survive. But we it's know not that's happen. it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so Chucky's going to take the Warrior Control, Warrior Control mirror match. If he spots lethal here, he's just waiting for I his guess turn you to do. <laughs> yeah, this is your finisher, you definitely oh. do spot lethal. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so 2 0 lead. For Team Dignitas. Oh, Chucky's got Hunter left. Okay, Hunter. Some may say that's a signature deck. So yeah, what? definitely. Like as an aggro player. <laughs> so, do we have any idea what he's playing? Like, is it gonna be like a mid Hunter face center? Like, um, Chucky is known for his face center, but is he like, go, is he like playing some mid range Hunter kind uh, of? Chucky's now? deck, I think. I think he told me that it's aggro, like fully aggro Hunter. But it's got two high mains in it. So a hybrid. Yeah, it's more the hybrid hunter. Yeah. It's pretty but, popular. But it's not as much hybrid as the hybrid hunters. Uh, it's like full aggro, but well, has two high all right, mains. So more face with some lines. And no, and, free and no freezing traps, maybe. I'm not sure about that, but I don't think they'll be freezing. Well, if anybody is coming up with a new hunter build, that's Chucky. So I want to see it. Leper gnome. Oh, leper gnome names. Leper names. Yeah, there is one. Where's the second one? He has to start with double, right? He is mulliganing there, you see, no. he can still get a second one. I think he keep the one drops. Yeah, but it's like, against Mid Warrior it's pretty bad mm. because they coin out Armorsmith, they coin out Grotesque, it's like they have so many options. Yeah. The, but it's like, you. I think you just have to do it. Maybe you can chuck the abusive since he's already got one drop for, to try to get like a two drop Mad Scientist or Haunted Creeper, even Knife Juggler. Yeah. Do you guys think there is any merit in keeping Harrison versus Hunter? W when uh, you have a coin, like he has a coin, it makes it so slow. Like, what if he just doesn't draw a weapon? I just want a weapon. Then it's a five-four that does nothing, and then you've lost like your early game because you're not mulliganing for early game. So you basically throw everything away and try to get the fireworks. Keeps the shield slam, which you can use on like turn three, armor up, and kill like a knife juggler. Yeah. Wow. Knife juggler. He got that works. Yeah, got your Sarah though. That's Fire. not very good. A fiery win X. It's so important to draw that win X against the aggro card in the decks. Okay, oh that's a pretty good curve. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. 
And the Mad Scientist with the bow is like the best combo. Yeah. Unleash the Hounds isn't that good though. Not versus Warrior, no. But then like, he can't be sad about his hand. Yeah. Oh, Harrison is back. back. Yeah. Harrison just wants to be being played. You see, that's why I like Lepernum as a card. It's like, it's doing four points of damage for one mana. Mm -hmm. Like so far, but no drawback. Some say Face Hunter was created by Chucky. That might be actually true. Maybe. Yeah, I wonder how this warrior is going to work out for uh, Robin Hood because we know it's really greedy and greedy is not really yeah. the best thing. Maybe we'll see the turn free tempo BGH. That might be the play. It's not like you. there is only possible Dr. Boom. So, so Tempo BGH, I think, is the so play. We don't know what the secret is. No, and that's pretty important, actually. Like, if it is an explosive, it doesn't really make sense to play the ball. I will not I will not mind just I playing think abusive, abusive it's like hero power, yeah. Like hero powering every turn's good. And you saw that he had a pretty hard time to deal with the Lepernon by using Warrex, so it's yeah. kind of fine to play the second one. But this means that there might be a good Harrison Jones play on 5. Oh, he actually yes. just choose the armor shield summit. Yeah, just calling all the aggression. Like, Chuck had a really good hand, but like all in, all, uh, oh wow. In oh, he actually does play a Shredder. Yeah, it's like, uh. the, I think it's like the just a uh, popular hybrid mm. hunter, and I'm pretty sure it's freezing to have it. Death by pickup is amazing as well. Better than Tempo BGH. No, it's not snakes. Nope. No snakes. Oh, wow. Oh, oh man, this is one of that the worst. That is actually bad. <laughs> yeah. Hockey, really bad. As a hunter, you don't want to get no, this. No, you just want <laughs> it's like get Hopper now. Yeah, <laughs> you can't really play. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, that makes it kind of good. Because it's basically he, a Hopper. You he, have to attack he, into it. Yeah, yeah, he protects the sheep now, so it's not easy to get a death rattle off. Well, after the attack, Robin yeah, will have 15. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's, it was pretty fast. But you might just actually armor up and shield some that. And um, a pass? Nah. I'll play the Temple Beach? No, uh, Temple nah. Beach is fine. Temple Beach yeah. is fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. But you still armor up? Still don't know what the secret is, though. Mm. Yeah. Really want to know. We think and it's, and a it's not trap. Snipe. It's not Snipe. It's <laughs> not Snipe. It's not It's snakes. not a snake trap. Misdirection? Oh, wow. S there's six high main. main. Off the top. There's not a death nothing spiral. to deal with this. So he's gonna see the trap now. Yeah, probably yeah. just yeah. activate the trap and then play the shield maiden. Yeah, that's, that's it. It's a freezing. Uh, you can't uh, kill the high main. No, high main's gonna do six damage. That's not what high you want to see. High main is so hard to deal with sometimes for warrior. Yeah. Some people say like whenever you get an attack with the high main to face, you win 100%. Ah, well, it, I think in a lot of situations that's true, for sure. And does he do it? Yes, he does it. So that's 11 oh, HP. Wow. I like how Chucky didn't play the bow earlier, and it played around Harrison Jones perfectly. Mm -hmm. Because there was a secret possibility that it will draw two cards. Ah, yeah, well, I think also that just getting that Shredder at turn 4 was also really important. Yeah. He curved out really well. He yeah. had this this opening hand with one, two, three, then got Shredder on four, on five. What did he play on five? If he gets revenge, um, by the way, it's really big here. If he goes Harrison, it gets revenge. Can't remember what he played on five actually. He played Shredder on four, and then I can't Ooh, remember. Brawl. So with this, how much damage is there in counting? There's That's five, five plus seven, one. Nine. It's Six. nine. Eight. So now eight, it's eight. eight. Yeah, it's eight. eight. Yeah. So not there yet. Not there. Not just it's a the pretty kill bad command would have done it. It's a pretty bad hand actually. Yeah. Like well, the owl can stop the belcher if there is one, or like any other song. There's no kill commands. Yeah. But it still puts your opponent. Too. Yeah, he's on six HP. He must be worrying. He's dead to top deck kill command. He's dead to like top deck almost anything. So I guess you are do you really forced to brawl this board like <laughs> it's so yeah. bad. Well, you, you have to kill kill the creeper as well. You can't spider. do the five damage to the face. I still have the armor up with a shield slam, so still kind of good. 
And oh. nah, he can still kill uh, it. He can still kill it, yeah. I think he will do it on all the minions that come out because you're so low HP, you have to do it. Chucky's is pretty useless, actually. Yeah. Yo, Juggler. Uh, Juggler to unleash. No, no, no unleash at all. Man, you can't actually play the card no. now. You used to be able to play it even if there were no minions. Oh, you can't even do it. Yeah. Oh. So basically, Chucky ran out of steam. It's possible that Robin will stabilize, even though yeah. he doesn't. But have he has no armor up cards. Yeah, it's. And he has to kill it still, so he still takes another Is it snake damage. Oh, <laughs> it's not snake. Oh man. Snake would have been lethal. Another tempo, BGH. Actually, like, there's so many cards that are lethal now. Even Abuse of Surgeon. He needs two damage. Yeah, Glaive Suka. Eagle he, Hornbow. He gets way more outs now. Quick shot. Oh. Abuse of Surgeon yeah. called yeah, it. There we go. That's enough. That's a 3 0 for Chucky. Wow. Pretty convincingly. 3 0 for Chucky. That was a pretty fast game, even though there was a control control mirror. So guys, thank you so much for casting. We're going to, to have Chucky now, uh, so you are here to stay. But uh, that was fun casting with you. Thanks so much. That was cool, and it was yep. a good series. Like it's all also good to see like some good control matchups because yeah, like they quite an interesting yeah. control warrior mirror. Mm -hmm. So Chucky won. We are going to interview Chucky in a moment. But what did you think about Robin's who play? Like he played well, I think. He played quite well. Some to sometimes he like played so he would die. Like he, but. The play was fine because he couldn't have known that Chucky would have the cards to lethal him. And it was pre pretty small, like, percentage that we'd have those cards. He'd have to Emperor those cards exactly, and it, but he did. All right, Robin Hu is here to stay. He has 2 1 score, so he is advancing to tomorrow. But Chucky is the winner of the day, 3 0. Congratulations, Chucky. Well played. Thank you. So, what can, I uh, what can you tell us about the, the matchups that you had? Uh, I think I was favored in, like, every matchup. Except maybe the Warrior Mirror because he had some greedier choices like Nefarian. But the way it, the way it kind of panned out, I figured if I went for like an aggressive push, there was basically no way he could win. So I overdrew twice, but like it didn't even matter. We didn't get to fatigue at the end. I knew I'd be able to kill him. That was pretty impressive. And uh, the last game, Hunter versus Warrior, were you scared at the end that you might that he might stabilize at that moment? Uh. When I drew the piloted Shredder off the top on four and the Savannah off the top on six, <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess I'm supposed to win this one. But, uh, yeah, at the end, I'd been, like, tracking the damage. I had quite a few outs. I won't list them all. <laughs> but, yeah, I had, you know, I was pretty good shape. If he had Alex next turn and I didn't draw it, maybe he would have won. So. All right. So the last tournament in Europe that you played was the uh, Assembly Tournament? It oh, man. Be. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, kind of similar to this one, just like a big convention, and I went zero and two there. So I came into this with like pretty low expectations. I'm like, maybe I just flew thirty hours across the world to go zero two again. But <laughs> hey, here pretty I amazing am. score. Yeah, yeah. three zero, and uh, you, you advance it tomorrow. You just need to go three and one. Yep. And uh, then you're through to the to, to Monday actually, and you'll be in our top eight. So guys, do you have any questions for Chucky? No, I just uh, no, I think he played very really well played. good. Yeah, yeah, I think he played really good. We saw the matches and like he really well played. The first game also with the Meligos, like we were thinking of some ego play, but Mabel Dead Ball just gave it a, a bit much to to away, and then he went for the greedy play by clearing it with yeah. Awakens. Yeah, Sarah's Awakens and like, put yep. your yeah. lethal range. Yeah. yeah, so no, really well played then. Uh, yeah, 16 players at 3-0 now, right? So or at the end of the day, 16 people yeah. will be at 3-0. I, I think it's really important to be 3-0, like. Trio is so much better off a spot mm. than to one. And half oh, the yeah. players are out. Uh. Yeah, that's true. Like <laughs> oh people man. just drop out. So mm. it's getting yeah. tighter and tighter, Chucky. But you are through, and uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, guys, thank you so much for casting again. Yep. Thank you, Chucky, for for joining us here. Uh, we are going to go into a short break, and after that, we're coming back with the last match of the day. Stay tuned.